The procedure for making the mandibular rim is very similar to that of the maxillary rim. Dry the record base thoroughly as wax will not adhere to a wet surface. Roughen the area of the record base where the wax will be adapted. Soften one end of the sticky wax slowly over a Bunsen burner flame. Place the sticky wax over the ridge crest area of the record base. Uniformly soften a sheet of hard pink base plate wax. Flame the wax in a Bunsen burner flame slowly by passing the wax quickly through the flame many times. When the wax is thoroughly softened, fold the wax, continue to flame the wax to soften it, repeat the folding and warming until the entire sheet of wax is used. Form the wax into a horseshoe shape and adapt the wax to the record base. Make the height of the rim about 15 to 18 mm from the anterior border to the incisal edge. The shape, position and dimension of the rim should represent those of the natural teeth. Posteriorly, the occlusal surface gradually widens in width from 3 to 5 mm in the anterior region to 8 to 10 mm in the molar region. Posteriorly, the wax rim parallels to the base of the cast, the residual ridge, on a plane intersecting the retromolar pad at two-thirds of the pad's height. Note that the rim's occlusal surface ends at the distal of the first molar and is beveled posteriorly and inferior.